Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome to Dilton Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilton Ball, we go on Friday Night Lights Wiki. <laughs> I'll get we, it. We click a random article. We talk about it. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I'll say this. You you, you being thrown off also throws me off because I forgot what I said. Yeah. So that's a very fun. You have the easier job because I think you still I say, the, say same the same thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nothing has changed for me. But it's that thing I used to do. Like, I, this is probably not how you're supposed to memorize lines for things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, if you're in a real play or something. But, like, if I was in a sketch show where I was like, okay, I just need to memorize five minutes worth of material. I'll just remember what. I'll trigger my memory off of what they say. So then it's like, oh boy, I hope they, uh, I hope they nail it. <laughs> I hope they nail it, because otherwise we're cascading into failure. Um, <clears throat> this is sort of related, because mm-hmm. it's high school, but mm-hmm. Jessica and I recently watched all three high school musical movies. There's only three, huh? Yeah. Wow. In um, the series. They really had some, um, what do you call that? Um, I should mention up top that I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. They were not great. Yeah. But it was interesting because they became like such a phenomenon. Yes. So the, fir- the first one was a Disney Channel original movie. I didn't know that. The second one was also a Disney Channel original movie. The third one was a theatrical release. That's wild. They got so fucking big that they they went from the small screen to the big screen. Wow. Just like The Witcher? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, and now, and now Disney Plus has a series, high, which has the greatest title. The title's very good. Say it for me. High School Musical, the musical, the series. <laughs> I don't even understand. Was there ever High School Musical, the musical? Yes. There was. That's like they, they made a, a play oh, sure. of High School Musical, and it's called High School Musical, the musical. So the plot, I have not watched the series, but the plot sure. of the series is st- students at the high school where High School Musical happens... Do you f- no. Okay. High school musical happens at East High. Okay. The East High Wildcats. Okay. This takes place however many years after the events of high school musical. Sure, sure. The students at East High uh-huh. are putting on the show High School Musical, the musical. I don't follow. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It doesn't matter. It's very funny and good. Um, That premise alone is enough to get me intrigued. Um, Have you watched Cheer? Cheers, yeah, with Sam Malone and yeah. Diane. Sam Malone. No, I haven't. Sam Jess- Malone gets on Matt. Very excited Jess- for him. Jessica watches Cheer, and she's very into it. There's only like six episodes. She should just burn through it. Oh, maybe she's done that. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, It's very exciting because at the end, I know they go to Daytona. They do go to Daytona. Which is... No spoilers about what happens, though. I, I don't know what Ooh, happens. Okay. They have this... Here's what... Do you know why they go to Daytona? It's like the finals. It's like the finals of some, yeah, some yeah. Like cheer um, thing. And they have this ritual... <clears throat> Where, or not a ritual it's a superstition rather where you only if you win the tournament are you allowed to go into the water the ocean the Daytona beach if you will sure so they go to Daytona they're there for I don't know how many let's say a week I don't know don't fucking touch that water only winners get to touch the water <laughs> that's wild isn't that crazy especially because like we're from Florida so the ocean's like okay whatever that but if you're from like the middle of no, the country, dude. I was yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So it's it's even crazier. Yeah, yeah. I I mean like you've never seen the ocean in your life, right? You for, smell that good salt breeze. Mm. But for us, it's like oh, it's cool, but it's it's just the thing that's to to my left, right? You know, <laughs> sure, sure. Like I want to go in, but if I can't, well, no, I'll okay. go tomorrow. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> but I was watching just like the the. All the, the footage of just, like, the waves rolling in, and I was like, ooh, boy, that must be torture if you can't go in the water, man. Our friends, S- Steve and Rachel, mm-hmm. are getting married in Florida mm-hmm. coming up. I'm excited to, to, get, married to on a, get on down there. They're getting married on a, a big oil, oil rig, right? Yeah. On the middle of the, <laughs> yeah. the Gulf? In the Gulf, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Yeah, I'm going to dive right into that water. Do you want to get an article? Uh, Sure. I think we filibustered enough. What I like about this wiki is we don't get much Ooh, material to work with. Okay. It's very tabula rasa for us. Um, no, oh, this no, is, much this is more. beefy. Okay. But, but. <laughs> what have we got? Joe McCoy. Joe McCoy. Would, Joe McCool. Would you like to know his profession? Joe McCoy's profession. Yes. Please. I, will, I want you to guess his profession. I mean, he's got to be like a motorcycle driver. Okay. 
beer distributor. Yeah, I wasn't far off. Why? Hold on. <laughs> the gonna... implications of this profession on this show. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I is that like, hey kids, what's up? Oh, it's Joe McCoy. Cool. <laughs> the beer distributor. Yeah, give us a honk on your your horn. <laughs> I hey, let's find out. We've okay. got we've got three graphs here, paragraphs. Ah, okay. Three paragraphs is either a lot or mm-hmm. a little for this guy. Philanthropist. What? And booster for the Dylan Panthers. The Dylan Panthers. Which east or west? I think east must be our Panthers. Oh wow! Or maybe it's just the e- East Dylan. Are the Lions. I'm reading ahead. Okay. So we're D- the Dylan Panthers. Is it just Dylan High and East Dylan Maybe High? Maybe so. Okay. Okay. McCoy. So what is it? The Dylan what? Panthers. Panthers? That's us? Yeah. Dylan Panthers. Okay. McCoy is very rich. <laughs> and he is a very <laughs> obsessive football dad. He just, he drives a beer truck for pleasure. <laughs> His son, J.D. McCoy. J.D. McCoy. We've read about him, I think. Yeah, I think so. Is a young prodigy. And he does everything he can to make him a superstar. In what? Beer driving? But he's very overprotective of JD. This affects JD because he's... I love my son. I don't want him to get CTE. Go play football. This is written in the style of a Say It The Buddies article. Oh, good, 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 good. This affects JD because he soon thinks that his parents are the owners of Dylan West, causing Coach Taylor to fall out with the McCoys. So he, he, he donates so much money that he's like... It's like when a cop tries to give you a ticket and you say... I pay. Check I, that sticker. <laughs> I'm a not only am I a police booster, but my taxes are your paycheck, asshole. And then you get out of the check or you get out of the ticket every time. You get out of the check every time. This, is, this affects JD because he soon thinks his parents are the owners of the Dylan West. Interesting. I don't understand what that means. No, it's like what I'm saying. Like the like yeah, we, we pay your uh, your 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 paycheck, buddy. Dil, Dylan West is that. Do we have Dylan, Dylan East, and Dylan West? Uh, no, I think Dylan West is us, the he, Panthers. Uh, he uh, wasn't he in uh, Gone with the Wind? <laughs> Joe becomes the head booster by season four, Ooh. much to the chagrin of Buddy Garrity, huh. who leaves the Dylan Panthers booster club due to Joe's actions. Joe's well, influence. I hate you so much. I'm going to stop supporting my favorite team. My son. My son. <laughs> Joe's influence also prompts JD's personal trainer. Wade Aikman. Ooh. We're getting a lot of info we here. We really are. I love Wade Aikman. Personal trainer, huh? This guy's like a little rich kid. Well, his his dad is very rich, as we learned. Why does he drive a beer truck? Joe and his wife... Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Joe's influence also prompts JD's personal trainer, Wade Aikman, to become head coach of the Panthers. What? Coach what? Taylor's out. What happens to Coach Taylor? Wade Aikman is in. <laughs> coach Aikman has a good ring to it, I will admit. Not as not as good as Coach Taylor. Coach though. Taylor, yeah, that's that's a good name. Dude, does he like go to East Dillon? Does he, you know, like? Ooh, you know what I'm saying? when we were in college, we had a, uh, a football coach. His name was uh, uh, Michael Myers. What the fuck is his name? Wade Moggs. Wade Moggs. <laughs> well, so anyway, it was not Steve Spurrier, but um, no, I remember Urban Meyer. That's the man. So Urban Meyer. Uh, brought our school to a couple championships in football, mm-hmm. and we had a uh, a big rivalry against uh, uh, Oak, um, Oak Ohio Ohio State, the Ohio State, the Ohio State. And then what happened? He retired from our school, and he went and he coached at Ohio State. That rules. It, it's a pretty. It's a, it's pretty bold. It as someone who does not give one shit about football, right? It's the that it's a, fucking rules. It's a good premise. Yeah, you know. So, okay, so the same thing happened. And so they, they saw our boy, Urban Meyer, and said, we're going to do that in a story. <laughs> uh, Joe and his wife, Katie, eventually get divorced. Oh, wow. Due to Joe's reign over the Panthers. Wow, he really sounds like a Lannister or something. JD here. becomes more arrogant and bullying of others. Oh, my God. Oh, so that's the son, JD. Uh-huh. Do you think J stands for Joe? Yeah. It's probably, you know, right? That's, this is the kind of guy that would name his son mm-hmm. after himself. The Panthers lose to the Crosstown East Dillon Lions 25-24. to 24. Oh, that's so close. That's a one-point difference. My dude. Yeah. Coached by Eric Taylor. Yes! <laughs> dude, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. I could write for this show, man. That's so good. Oh, you're going to kick me out? Okay, fair enough. How about I whoop your ass? Oh, that's so good. I love that. Failing to make the, play, uh, failing so to make the playoffs. Interesting. 
After this, Joe, JD, and Wade leave town. Oh, they got run out of town on a rail. Making it, who's going to distribute the beer? That's what I'm wondering. The Make, beers are going to pile up. Making it unclear whether they left on their own accord or were eventually fired by the booster club and ostracized by the community. Wow. Imagine living somewhere where high school football is such, yeah. a, such a thing. And it's I went, the central piece of the town. I went somewhere where high school football was a pretty big deal. Sure. Like, there were a lot of people who were, like, mm. third, fourth generation, like, graduates of my high school. Sure. And it, like, the community would come watch games, but it was still nothing like this. This makes me wonder, like, maybe the maybe the show isn't just about football. Maybe it's more about... It sounds very Game of Thronesy to me. It does, you know. Um, in the in the Book of Mormon, there's a, a fun. Um, the good guys and the bad guys switch around all the time. It's in the Book of Mormon. Yeah, so there's two. I don't know about this God, bro. <laughs> but how about the devil? I'm pretty down. <laughs> uh, so there's two big groups of people: the Nephites and the Lamanites. Uh huh. Um, we all know this. We all know this, and just depending on what, like where you are in the Book of Mormon and where they are in, like, progress or history or whatever, or, you know, history, quote-unquote. Sure. Um, the good guys are either the Nephites or the Lamanites, basically depending on who is more, like, righteous, essentially. Uh, they both go through cycles where they'll be good or bad or whatever. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. So that's what this reminds me of, where it's like, oh, we, we hate the East Dillon Lions. Oh, wait a minute. Coach Taylor coaches them? Now we love them. Who's, like, do we follow? Right. Who's, the, who's this show about? Right. Is it about Coach Taylor or is it about the town in general? Or is it about the the Panthers? Right. Is it right? What's with it, what's it about? Yeah, like does does Coach Taylor become a bad guy, so to speak, or there's no way. It can't be, right? No. Or may, maybe it's just a thing where he goes away and then we see him come like we don't even know it's him coaching the the Lions <laughs> until he takes his coach mask off <laughs> to reveal it's been Speaking of masks, yes. I don't watch the masked singer. Oh, sure. I don't either, but it sure sure doesn't trick me. I found out who just won the last season. Ooh, season two? Yeah. Who won? I guess spoilers. Okay, that, sure. You know, be aware that I'm going to reveal the winner of the Masked Singer. It was Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady! That rules! Right? Oh, that's so good. So we had T-Pain and Wayne Brady. Yeah. T-Pain Brady. T-Wayne Brady. Apparently T-Pain is also a really good singer, which is... You won the fucking thing? Which is extremely funny. I love that. Because, like... You know, auto tune was invented to make people who are bad singers good singers. Right, right. And he was just like, "No, this just sounds cool. Like, I don't need this. I, I want this." <laughs> oh, that's so good. I don't need this. I want this. Uh, I would love to hear Wayne. Like, I wonder if you and I, if we were watching the Masked Singer, if, we, if, if at any point oh, we would have gone, "Wow, is that Wayne Brady?" Because because we watched so much, so much, so much Who's Line. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if I could pick his voice on necessarily. I wonder if he improvised the songs. I was wondering that too. Yeah. <laughs> what a giveaway that would be. <laughs> okay. Before I get started, yeah. I'm just going to need uh, a volunteer to come up and tell me their profession <laughs> <laughs> and sit on the stool awkwardly for the next two and a half minutes. <laughs> Man. Do you think Whose Liners in any way holds up? Because oh, I haven't. I bet it's good fun. I haven't watched it. I mean, honestly, probably since I've started improvising, right, right. which is like 10 years years or more um i think it's it's probably good i remember i did watch some of it after i'd done my fair share of improv um and i remember being like oh now i see the the piece the gears yeah, yeah. or whatever um which is a little like it, it lost a little bit some magic sure which i, I mean that's well, any improv though it, it is they, yeah you, it was like oh i see i understand the game of this or i mean any th you know once you once you know how to well it's not really magical anymore is it right yeah um sort of like every time i watch um Un, un, what's the fuck is it called? Unwrapped. Unwrapped. Uh, since I've spent so much time eating candy, it, it doesn't really do anything for me anymore. Do you watch Gourmet Makes? What is that? It's, no. Ooh. I feel like you would... You Gourmet would, Makes. Yeah. There's... So Bon Appetit has like a YouTube channel that's very good. Everyone loves this YouTube channel. I need Dude. to get into it. But there's Gourmet Makes and there's one chef who... Like her show on this channel is she'll be like, I'm going to make Snickers, okay. like gourmet Snickers. OK, so she'll like do a bunch of research. She'll like, you know, cut open Snickers and like measure the layers <laughs> and like watch unwrapped to see how it's made. I would love to see like a, a, a parody of her, like like with calipers, like really getting your. She, oh, wow. I mean, it's a self parody. Okay. It's, and she like 
I just saw one where she did like jelly belly, jelly beans. Like she does like, oh, wow. she did Takis, like just all kinds of stuff. How do you do that? Dude, it's wild. Okay. It's, that's it's, very interesting. It's extremely good. Um, people love Bon Appetit. They love, um, what's the, the man with the chicken wings? Un, unflavored? Unflavored. They're just, <laughs> they remove all of the flavor from the chicken wings. It's just, yeah, it's just kind of it's just meat. clear meat. <laughs> clear meat. Is that, what, is that where, the, where the color comes from? The is the flavor? The flavor's the color. The flavor's the color. Um, I know what it's called. And hot I, ones. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I like hot ones. I watched a lot of hot ones. I couldn't remember the name of it. I couldn't get into it. Maybe you need to just only watch the ones with people you like. Yeah. That's all I do. Mm-hmm. If there's someone I don't know, I'm like, I don't care. That makes sense. But if you know, like Obama's on it, I guess I'll watch it. I bet he could tear up some hot wings. I bet he could too. I bet, man, I think I really turned the corner on Obama. Sure. So I you used to think it, he could eat a lot of hot wings. And now I'm like, that fucker can't eat no hot wings. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it. Which president can eat the most hot wings? Well, the most or the hottest? That's the thing, because the most is obviously a Taft. <laughs> <laughs> the hottest. Yeah, who ooh, you don't get the hottest. Well, shit. My first thought, here's what here's what it is. Well, it's not George Washington. No. Because those fuckers will catch on fire. <laughs> the person who could eat the most or the hottest wings is Teddy Roosevelt. But ooh. He, because he would just like he would eat way more than he'd be comfortable with, but not admit it. Yeah, you yeah, know? you're absolutely right. Yeah. Rough rider till the yeah, end. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Fuck. Um, but who could eat the most and actually stand it? Um, well, first you have to remember 40 presidents, and that's a hard ask. You know, this might be controversial. Mm-hmm. I bet Jimmy Carter could fuck with some Ooh, hot wings. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it is Jimmy Carter. And he'd be eating them, he'd be like, well, these ones are pretty hot, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a hot wing. That's a hot wing. <laughs> I'll <say. laughs> smell you later. <laughs> they give him a name, right? Uh, Art Dunkelman? No, it's not. No, it's something like that, isn't it? I don't know. You don't remember? You saw the movie too? No, I've never, I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, okay, yeah, don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I watched it for free, which is um, which I, I overpaid. It's the only... <laughs> <laughs> Because it did cost me two hours of my life. That's crazy, right? If if the, if you think about the world in terms of like the movie in time, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Um. Richard Fink. Dan Fink. <laughs> can I? Oh, I can. What's the Joker's name? <laughs> oh, set. I need to turn. Give me on, please. Okay, that was it. Jeez, come on. What's the Joker's name? Give me. It's like Art Frick. I don't need to read a whole fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> no, I bet if you just went to like the Joker wiki. Well, yeah, but he's had, apparently he's had like 40 names. Well, no, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Oh, like, the Joker. I see, I see, I yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I see. The, mo- the for the movie, Joker. No fuck. No no no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Joke. Oh, God damn it. Joker movie wiki. <laughs> <laughs> this is making really a waste in your life. Oh my God! Just tell me his fucking name. <laughs> um. Okay, this first sentence, the first half of this sentence makes it sound way cooler. In 1981, Party Clown, (laughs) which I get, but... Hey, y'all, it's the Party Clown. Uh, Arthur Fleck. What? I said Art Frick. Yeah. Babu Babu Fleck. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.